In March 2024, there was a sig significant strengthening of the Naira against the US dollar in both the official and parallel markets. The official rate used for customs duty even reached its lowest point in eight weeks. Against the backdrop of key reforms by the Central Bank of Nigeria, experts have continued to predict that the Naira would continue to strengthen against the dollar as long as techniques introduced to check the free fall of the country's currency are sustained. Well, at the end of trade on Monday, dollar crashed to 1,200 Naira on black market after CBN revealed the BDC's rate. And to discuss the recent development on the exchange rate today is Dr. Samson Galadema Simon, CPLP Chief, is Chief Economist at Arc Economics and Data Limited. You're welcome to Business Express. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Nigerians. So let's start this way. The market seems a little stable these days with Naira making gains against the dollar. How important is this for the economy? Well, um, it has been a roller coaster ride. Um, Naira went um, officially when the new president came on board uh, in May 2023 from something in the region of 460 to almost um, 2,000. Uh, uh, Naira to the dollar. And it, that sent uh, shock waves uh, through the economy. That sent uh, shivers down the spines of Nigerians. But thankfully, uh, things are beginning to get better because one grievous error on the part of the authorities was um, trying to float the Naira when they had backlog of uh, forex uh, forwards that they had to clear. They should have cleared that first. And then the pressure on the Naira was also too much. It was relentless. But um, the central bank governor has been doing a lot of things. He has flurry of policies and cyclists trying to tackle the, the problem of the foreign exchange markets. And I think so far they are yielding results. And uh, the primary thing that has made the, the Naira to appreciate is because of the hike in interest rates. Uh, that was not the only reason, but it's one of the main reasons, because that has encouraged forex inflows that has encouraged capital inflows, particularly when the central, when the authorities were trying to sell treasury bills and then uh, other bonds as well. And um, the, both the demand on the Naira has reduced and then the supply has gone up. So that was a recipe for the Naira to appreciate in value. And I believe Nigerians are happy now, though we are not at the place where we were uh, a year ago, but we are still better than what we had, uh, where we were still better off than we were earlier in the year. And uh, uh, the, the investment bank, Goldman Sachs, said Nigeria seems to have turned the corner. So that was good to hear. It's gliding into the heart. And we expect the Naira to keep appreciating. But the thing is, um, the policies so far uh, are not really uh, entrenched enough to sustain this rally of the Naira. So uh, we need to change fundamental things about the economy. Particularly, we know that oil, crude oil sales, uh, have for a while been the mainstay of the uh, foreign exchange market. So there's a need to tackle uh, oil theft, the vandalism of oil facilities, to make sure that um, the oil output has increased so that we export a lot more and then we'll be better off. And then another thing is we need to stimulate uh, for diaspora remittances. We need to export other commodities as well. Our, M our NMSMEs are really underperforming. They are punching below their weights. So we need to stimulate that. Uh, with the banking capitalization, I think that will help. That will go a long way in funding businesses, not only the government. And then for the pressure in terms of demand for, for the dollar, the central bank has also introduced a lot of policies, one of them being that um, you don't repatriate 100% of, of your earnings. You do 50%. Uh, then uh, after a while, you can do the remaining 50%. And then the uh, foreign currency denominated collaterals too. I think these are good policies and this will go a long way. And even for those people that are using our Commonwealth, they collect uh, FAC allocation and then use that to uh, buy dollars. That has really been affecting us. So now that they know that the, the eyes of the authorities are peeled, I think they are, being they are a bit circumspect about doing that. So a lot of things have gone into this 
And if it, uh, the tempo is maintained, I think Nigerians will be happy with the way things are. Okay, um, the $15.8 million intervention by the central bank in the parallel market, what does this imply for the Naira? Well, um, you, if you remember vividly, um, under the last um, uh, substantive CBN governor, uh, um, Godwin Emifili, they stopped um, uh, funding uh, bureaus, the, the change. But with uh, the coming of Alai Emikadoso, they have gone back to that. I think that has helped with the supply of forex. And because the supply has gone up and then the demand has come down, that has uh, contributed to making the Naira appreciating in value. Uh, I saw numbers being quoted as low as uh, 1,117.5. That's less than 1,200 to the dollar uh, on the parallel market, on the unofficial market. So the more they pump uh, dollars into those markets, whether the parallel markets or the official markets or with those banks, with the commercial banks, the more the Naira keeps appreciating. So that uh, would be gladdening to many Nigerians. And I know some Nigerians are saying that when Naira was, when dollar was climbing, uh, inflation went up and most of us uh, suffered because of it. And now that uh, the Naira is appreciating, they are not really seeing the result. There is a lack actually. And uh, prices are largely downward sticky. So it's easier for people to, to increase prices, but for them to bring it down, it may take um, a while. And then this, uh, ups and downs actually distort the economy, so things may not go back exactly to the way they, they were before these uh, distortions uh, came. Okay, um, the central bank said the country gained $1.5 billion into the country. It looks like investor confidence is restored. What do you think? Yes, um, you know, the, if you look at the difference between our headline inflation at 31.7, and then the interest rates before the coming of uh, Olaya Mikaduso, the difference is much. Up to now, even though he has largely been aggressive, the central bank has largely been hawkish, that is still not enough because uh, we still have a net um, a negative real interest rate. So there is a need to continue hiking rates. I know that um, some people are saying that that affects the cost of credit, but your purchasing power is going under. And uh, when you tackle inflation, it's also good for businesses because many businesses are folded because of inflation. So it's only about the cost of credit alone. And the way the central bank is going about it, I think that um, is largely gladdening to know. And um, it's building confidence. Investors are coming in. They are buying treasury bills. They are buying bonds because the interest is high in, in, the, in, the, in the region of 20 something. And you can hardly find it elsewhere in the world. So that's why more of them are coming. And that has increased the foreign exchange inflows by some sources by as high as $2.1 billion. So that is encouraging to hear. And then the confidence of Nigerians in the Naira as a store of value is, gen is slowly being restored. So confidence is being built. And I give kudos to the central bank governor and the entire central bank team and the Nigerian authorities as well. Nice one. Now, the leadership of Nigeria Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Nasima, believes the Naira should be pegged to the dollar instead of trading it. Do you agree? Well, the pegging is not actually in the best interest of the economy. We, we were pegging before now, and that has uh, been a distorting factor to the economy. That created a lot of inefficiencies. That created a lot of problems. That created rooms for, for abuses. Uh, the floating of the Naira is the best thing. The, I think uh, Nasima should not just ask for the Naira to be packed. And I think managed float, or what some people call dirty float, and that's what the central bank is doing at the moment, may be the best thing. We need to float because when you float it, it encourages investors. I know they are not happy with the way it was floated, and then the value almost went under. But measures can be taken so that such a thing does not happen again. And uh, they themselves will also be happy. Because when you, when you packed it, to access uh, Forex at the official exchange rates may not really be easy. 
uh, not everybody will access that. We, well, we, well, I think we are, we are a little bit forgetful. We were, it was packed just a few months ago, and we knew what it was. It was not actually working. Most of those businesses still had to suck Forex from the black market. So I don't know why they're fixated on the pegging. I think it's in our best interest to float. I don't think we should just allow it to float the way it wants. Uh, I remember when uh, the uh, coordinating minister for the economy, Wale Odun, Odun, was being confirmed. He said the true value of the Naira was around 700. He has not given us the reason why he said the 700. But if we can get it at that, if we can have a managed float around that, I think that will go a long way. And the most important thing is for the Naira to be stable. If it is stable, I think that will go a long way in encouraging businesses, whether domestic or international. Just before I let you go, Doc, what else do we need to do to get to an acceptable rate of foreign exchange? There are fundamental issues around the economy. Um, one of them is our inability to export. I know Nigerians have this uh, obsession with us importing too much, and we tend to demonize importation. But the actual problem with the Nigerian economy, if you look at the data, if you look at the facts, is our inability to export. Oil and gas um, contribute almost 90% to our foreign exchange earnings. All the other exports we do contribute something in the region of 10%. So we are hardly exporting anything. And the major problem, according to research, including the one I conducted, is our NMSMEs inability to export because they contribute 50% to GDP while their contribution to export is 10% of that. Compare that with China's where the MSM is contribute something in the region of 60% and then uh, to the GDP but around 70% to export. That means they are punching above their weight. And I think something needs to be done to encourage MSM is. And one of these ways is by funding them. They find it very difficult to access credit because government borrowing sometimes crowd out the private sector. So there is a need to encourage exports. Uh, for our imports, we need to only import what we actually need. And import is a necessity. According to the father of economics, Adam Smith, in his Magnus Opus, The Wealth of Nations, exports are, are, is, are as important as imports. So I don't think it's wise for us to demonize imports. What we need to see is an even kill where both of them are treated as very important parts of the economy. Thank so you. we need to tackle oil theft. That's also one of the major problems. So these things will go a long way in helping the Naira to stay stable and making Nigerians to be happy. Thank you very much, Dr. Simon, for your insights. It was good having you on the program. Thank you for having me.